One change for Bilbao from the first leg. The inclusion of Argote as a third forward. Goy Cochia still banned domestically for his assault on Diego Maradona. He is, though, eligible again tonight. Joe Fagan has plumped for Steve Nicholl in midfield in preference to Craig Johnston. So it's the same Liverpool side which put six goals past Luton and which now has to beat the 22-year-old Zubi Tharaita. Liverpool in a chain strip of all yellow and what a stern task here for them. Athletic have lost only once in European competition in 34 matches in the San Mamés Stadium and that was 15 years ago. Sunes and the flag up against Ian Rush who's still on antibiotics and certainly under the weather with a virus which makes his five goals last Saturday all the more remarkable. Lawrence losing out in the air is Sarabia. And now Gallego. Shot directed towards the near post. Maybe slicing away. We didn't see a great deal of Bilbao as an attacking force at Anfield. But certain that there will be more from them here tonight. be a test of Liverpool's durability. Nickel getting forward and pushing as he did so. Preferred to Craig Johnston, said Joe Fagan this morning for Nickel's defensive abilities. winning it this time. Got a Tubi. Gallego taking over. And a nice turn from Sarabia. And he saw Grobola starting to advance off his line. And tried an imaginative chip. Fortunately for Liverpool was just off the target. The turn from Sarabia losing Phil Neal. And Alan Hansen coming across on the cover just doing enough to put Sarabia off. from Noriega, Argote, Sarabia again, Lawrenson got in the way, Sunes with the back pass, Sarabia hasn't scored in the Spanish first division yet this season, Athletic Bilbao down in 11th place in an 18-man league, Nickel, hit it crisply into the midriff of the goalkeeper. And in the end, Hansen halting Noriega. Hansen. Liverpool trying to conduct proceedings at their pace. With 20 years of European football, their pedigree. Liverpool have certainly learned some lessons about playing away from home in that time. Lawrenson. You can hear the crowd reacting at the Bilbao players to try and get possession. Kennedy winning a corner. And the goalkeeper in trouble. Lee can keep it in play. And Robinson and Thubi Tareta in the end got away with it. from De Andre.
certainly competitive in midfield Liverpool as you would expect although the East German referee Adolf Prokop giving the free kick to Bill Bauer regarded as one of Europe's most authoritative officials here's Goy Kacher the flick was from Dalglish Urquiaga and Sarabia was rather looking for the free kick which he got so Urquiaga to take the free kick for Athletic Bilbao and the header from Argote no problems in the end for Bruce Grobelaar. Gallego. Urquiaga venturing forward again. Gallego has shown a neat touch in midfield. Although haven't as yet produced a reasonable final ball. It might drop for Noriega. And the referee pointed straight away for a corner. Argote to take the corner. And Drobola came and was nowhere near it. And fortunately for Liverpool, it's a goal kick. Their problems a moment or two earlier when the scramble on the edge of the area dropped Noriega's way. Kennedy. Sunes changing the direction towards Lee. Robinson let it run, Dalglish! Well, he spun into the shot. Liverpool's most incisive move. Ending with Dalglish just unable to keep it down sufficiently. Extra time, certainly a possibility here. We're into injury time at the end of the first half. The tie still awaiting its first goal at half-time. So far, so good for Liverpool. Join us again after the break. Welcome back to the San Mames Stadium. A happy ground you might remember for England in the 1982 World Cup Finals. The European Cup hopes of Liverpool and indeed Athletic Bilbao still hanging in the balance here. Bilbao, in fact, have only scored once in their last four competitive matches. Forward from Lee. Urquiaga. Played twice for Spain against England. Roy Cochea, the only current international in the Bilbao side. Lee. While delighted with their six-goal performance on Saturday, the Liverpool players were saying that they wished that they'd saved one for this particular game, realising the difficulties of coming to Bilbao, maybe feeling that the opportunity has passed them by in the first leg. Lee. And here's Robinson. Robinson prepared to take on Nunez and 
bringing Liverpool the corner. Played short by Lee. Rush got a touch at the near post, and it was Steve Nicholl coming in behind. Collected by Dalglish, and then driven back by Kennedy, and it'll be another corner. All just diverted away from Rush. So Lee can try again. And there is the ploy. And hit from some 25 yards by Sunas. Graham Sunas is Liverpool's penalty taker these days, and maybe the players' thoughts turning to the possibilities of a penalty shootout here, which is something that, believe it or not, in all their European experience, Liverpool have never yet faced. Douglas. Good movement ahead of Alan Kennedy from Robinson, Rush and Douglas. And Nicole getting a foot in as well. Certainly Bilbao haven't really unraveled the Liverpool method. Nickel with the throw. And taking on Okiaga. And Thubita right in trouble. And Robinson found it coming too quickly towards him from the goalkeeper's flap at the cross. But Steve Nickel. Turning Okiaga and showing that he can contribute going forward as well. A teasing cross that really troubled the goalkeeper. Robinson couldn't turn it in. Nickel. Robinson beaten to it. Mutiranthu again. And Noyega getting behind Lawrenson. Neil to the rescue. And a break on here for Liverpool with Michael Robinson. Rush pointing in the middle where he wanted the ball delivered. And Robinson just overran it at the vital moment to be stopped by Goiko Jaya. Well, that's the type of break that I'm sure Liverpool have been waiting patiently for. Really, it's in Liverpool's philosophy, if they can land a knockout blow to do so with a counter punch Kennedy and Rush left unmarked and Liverpool's patient approach has been rewarded with a goal but when it came really unusual from their point of view because Alan Kennedy here delivered across with his right foot. And Ian Rush certainly doesn't rate his heading ability, but timed this header to perfection. And now Bilbao have to score twice in the 24 minutes that remain to put Liverpool out. Argote, Noriega. And it was almost an immediate reply. Bilbao had the corner. 
but Grobola has the ball. And even if Bilbao do score once, Liverpool, remember, still have the edge now on the away goal. The substitute for Bilbao, Miguel Sola. Midfield player, Okiaga comes off. Yes. Fifteen minutes left. And Liverpool, on what promised to be such a difficult night for them, are turning in a memorable performance here. Dalglish and Rush is onside. Robinson waiting in the middle. And it was over Goiko Chair and over Michael Robinson as well, who was a little weary in his approach, it must be said. But here's Argote. And just not allowed to get in the cross. Lawrenson with that long stride to eat up the ground to get close to Argote and turn the ball out for the throw. And it was hit by Nunez, and it was Sarabia who stretched out a leg. Sportubi. And again. It's in midfield where Bilbao really haven't been allowed to maintain a grip. And Sola's pass running out of play. In the first round, Bill Bauer were two goals down to Lech Poznan from Poland from the first leg and bounced back with four on this ground. But they've not been able to recapture that sort of mood. And that can only be to Liverpool's credit. Gojko Chea. Booted forward by Sunes. Swept on by Robinson. And the more space now for this opening up for the likes of Rush here and Robinson. And here's Dalglish. Tried to curl it! Superb save from Tubitareta. We've seen Dalglish do that sort of thing before. A really inventive strike at goal. Hoping to catch the goalkeeper too far forward, but Thubi Tareta responded to scoop it away. Liverpool are calling off Michael Robinson, and wearing number 14, David Hodgson, is his replacement. It was Hodgson who made the flick. Ubi Tareta anxious to send it forward quickly. Where it's two against one initially in Liverpool's favour, but Noriega made a shooting opening for himself by sheer industry. Nunez. It stayed in play. And Drobel are in trouble. Well, Tubi couldn't turn it back across the face of the goal. To the relief of Drobel who's had one or two unhappy European experiences away from home. But this is Hodgson with fresh legs. And Rush! Well, it's not often that he fails to hit the target. And David Hodgson showing the value of the substitution, really, with the pace to get away. Rush, a judge just to have stayed onside. 
but he whacked it far too high. Touch from Argote initially. The turn from Sarabia. De Andres. They probed away on both sides, Bilbao. But Liverpool have given them so little. The second line of defence came from Kennedy, but only after a foul by Nicol on Sola. So maybe a free kick that can yet test Liverpool. Inside the final minute of normal time. And Grobola provided the answer with a sure catch. Dalglish. Ian Rush can use up a little bit of time here. No problems for Liverpool just to retain possession. Let the seconds tick away. Sola and Lawrenson acrobatically with the interception. Sunes knowing that there was space available for David Hodgson. And Graham Sunes has really coordinated the performance. And an exceptional performance it has been by Liverpool. They've maintained their control throughout. And now they can celebrate an exceptional victory. Ian Rush's goal, the focal point after 66 minutes. But Liverpool's true quality, tremendous teamwork seen at its best. And really appreciated here by the Bilbao crowd as well. A happy final scoreline, it's Athletic Bilbao nil, Liverpool 1. Well, clearly, Graham, it all went according to plan. What was the plan, quite simply? Oh, and the plan was to come here out and battle with them and chase them and uh, play our football and try and, I mean, play it as if we were at home and dominate them, and we did that. I thought we'd done ever so well tonight. How highly do you rate that performance alongside well, think, others in Europe? I think that's got to be as good as any since I've been at the club. Um, Bayern Munich was a great result. I think maybe that meant a wee bit more because that meant us in the final. But tonight, I mean, to come here and win, um, we were absolutely thrilled. It's an absolutely tremendous result. <laughs> <An absolutely tremendous. laughs> he got you that time. A few fireworks, yeah. eh? <laughs> uh, bet they wished they had a few during the game. Another word on the goal, I mean, it, it seemed to take an age to actually go in. Yeah, um, I think there's a wee bit of wind blowing down that way. And Rushy, who's not the best editor of the balls, I think he rates with me about being the worst in the club, he um, got up great and nodded it down. The goalkeeper was floundering, he was never going to get there. I think the wee bit of wind it was there took it in. That was a, that was a great goal. I mean, belly with a right foot cross. What more can you ask? I think it was fair to say that the atmosphere in the dressing room must be pretty good oh, at the moment. Oh, it's absolutely tremendous. I can't wait to get back there. It's um, a wee bit special, you know, we're involved now right up to March when the next game is. Uh, and that's a great thing for the club as well. Well, no disguising that smile, Joe. Oh, it's a, um, a great feeling. And let me congratulate the whole 16 players, not just the 12 that were on the field. Tell you why, because it's, it's so frustrating for the four that didn't get a game. And they're joining in this, this uh, game, as every game now is coming along, and uh, they're part of the team. But obviously, the, the 12 that went on there, now what a magnificent performance. There's nothing else I can say. There's <laughs> nothing really. I remember your predecessor, Mr. Bob Paisley, who didn't mm. have a bad record in no. Europe, saying that it, on these occasions, the most important thing was maybe quietening the crowd, and a very vociferous crowd tonight yes. in the early stages. Don't make the words too long, please, Elton. No, he's, you're right. Um, this is one of the, not the secrets, one of the things you try and do uh, to a crowd like this uh, who wanted to shout their own team on, but couldn't get a shout in. And uh, as uh, most probably would be shown, uh, the flags that were flying for Bilbao, uh, they gradually were lowered half-mast.
<laughs> and that, that then becomes a great psychological that, boost, boost to you. for us. And uh, we just carry on playing the way we did. And uh, it, it turned out well. It turned out tremendous. From our position, it seemed inevitable that the goal would eventually come. Is that the feeling you had? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? No. I, I was looking forward to, to extra time. Only, only, you see, this game of ours, this game in Europe, European football, uh, you said you expected one. Uh, I think the crowd did. But you, you're always a little bit pessimistic on the bench, you know. Always. You, you know, oh, that, no, no. And then when the goal goes in, oh, what a, a, a boost it is for everybody, on us on the bench as well. And then, of course, those last few minutes, how, well, where do you go? Well, how, can you, how can you look at a match like that? <laughs> anyway, it, did, it ended great, didn't it? Elton Wills be our interviewer there. We had Graham Soonest then and the fireworks. What a great night it's been there in Bilbao. And, well, I suppose you'll not come across a more genuine man in football than the...